Hey everybody, welcome to the F1 Short and Sweet Couch Racers Podcast. I'm Nate and this is Jules. Welcome to the couch. Let's get to it. So Jules, first thing I want to talk about, mate, is the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix race number two. And I wanted to ask you what your thoughts were on the very first piece of action, which was the Alpine battle between Alonso and Ocon. Mm, Mate, mm. What, what did you think? I loved it. I really did. I understand yeah. there are two different perspectives you could take, right? Mm. Alpine fan versus F1 fan. But, I mean, we're, we're all fans. But um, mm. I, I really enjoyed it. Like, the two racing, like, it was so close. Tight neck and neck. And they're back at each other again. And then the next year I saw, and they're back at each other again. <laughs> like, like honest, uh, honest, I was looking, I was watching it. And I was like, I can't believe this is the new car. Like, I can't, if this is it. Like yeah. two races in, things are looking pretty good. This yeah. is amazing. Like right? and and also Otmar to not, <laughs> you know, and I know everyone has different opinions, right? We'll we'll hear yours in a sec like that. But <laughs> I, I was really impressed that Otmar um let them race and he was so casual about it and so cool about it. Mm. And you know, obviously BWT was just celebrating because their beautiful pink livery is all over the place, their beautiful brand and logo and everything else. There's a part of me that thinks that they did it for sponsorship. Like, you I, reckon? I think they, I, yeah, I think they put on a show. I really do. I think there was some sort of, you know, well, David, maybe Croft, was... David Croft did say that. He got, oh, what, they the got sponsorship? a lot of airtime. Yeah, he goes, oh, Crofty? at least the cars get it. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they said, oh, they're getting a lot of promo. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, you're probably right, man. Yeah. What do you think? You tell me. Oh, man, I'm, the, I'm on the opposite side of you, bro, because I was getting mad. I was getting mad at Ocon. Yeah, I was getting. Oh, you get it? (laughs) Yeah, I was getting mad. I'm like, dude, you're like, what, five laps into the race, and you're, I know you're meant to, like, you guys are teammates. I know you're supposed to be still competitive and you still got to try to beat your teammate. That's the whole point. But you got to be smart about it, right? You don't do it on the first five laps and then basically wear your tires out. That's what I was Mm -hmm. thinking anyway, the tires. And Mm -hmm. it's, it's exactly what happened. Like, after the back and forth, Maybe after two, uh, you know, a couple of laps, you know, uh, Bottas came in out of nowhere and just overtook him. Um, mm-hmm. So I don't think it was the smartest move from a, a team standpoint. Competitive, competitively though, from an audience perspective, hundred percent enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. You know, that's one of the, you know, we, we're starting to see it more and more in every race where they're getting the fights are getting more and more intense. They're being able to follow each other, so it's it's great to see that. And I'm, I'm enjoying that, but. I don't know why I took it so so hard, but I was just like, "Oh come, what are you doing, mate? It's not I helping mean, the team." <laughs> yeah. I, guess, I guess I guess in some ways, like I know what you're saying. You know, ultimately, yeah. because of what they did, they probably did finish further down the rankings. You know, probably they were looking at maybe sixth, seventh between them, right? Maybe you know, who knows? Yeah. Um, but they didn't. They came further back because of it. So, you know, yeah. did they sacrifice their race? Definitely. Was it? awesome to watch a hundred percent would i welcome it again yes definitely yeah, look at oh, man, look at is. that look, look how beautiful is. that looks that i agree dude like if it was to do with promotion that sticks out so much yeah, B- yeah. oh B-W-T. yeah it's fantastic right it's a great color it's a great color i'm surprised that they kept that right they kept the color um even though they moved to alpine it, well it's only B-W- that's it it's over that's the last time you're going to see the full pink livery. Oh, is it really? Ever again. Yeah. So oh, this is no. why, yeah. this is why, this is, this is the way I visualize it, right? You know, <laughs> do I know this happened? No, I don't. But this yeah. is the way I visualize it is Alpine and everyone, you know, they're celebrating BWT and saying, you know, farewell. Last time they're going to see the pink rival, uh, the livery. And I, yeah. you know, I can genuinely see Alonzo and Ocon be like, let's do something fun because I think they get along. And also, who better? to sharpen your racing caliber against then one of the best in the world, Fernando Alonso. So I think like I'm going to give Otmar the credit that hopefully maybe he needs or deserves, right? And he made a really good management decision, which was, all right, we've got two big bulls who want to fight it out. It's a great sponsorship opportunity. You know what? It's an early race. We've done well. We both got in the points last time. I trust these guys. I'm going to show them the trust and let's see what happens. And did they deliver, right? You know, maybe they lost a couple of points between them. You know, I don't think it's going to break their championship. 
Uh, was it an awesome show? Did it put Ocon, Alonso, and Otmar on the map? And Alpine, definitely, you know. And fu- well, well done, well done. <laughs> yeah, I can see your point, man. Um, but you know, what's the benefit of that though? Like, yeah, mm-hmm. doing that from a from a team perspective and and, and sponsorship, they're gonna leave. And so, what's the point for for Alpine anyway? That's mm-hmm. that's how I think about it. I think Ocon is competitive and absolute like. Who was it? Was a button that was commentating, but whoever Jensen. was with Jensen, he was in mm, the same Jensen team button. as Yeah. Well, he was in the same team as Alonso, wasn't he? Yes. At some yes, point. Yes, yes, yeah, and yeah. And he said, he said, he goes, Yeah, yeah. Um, no, uh, um, Alonso hates having his um, you know, the other driver in front of him. He would yeah, hate yeah. that. Yeah. So I think that was a legit battle. And I don't oh, think Alonso 100%. Pre- I don't think 100%. Alonso and I, well, I, this is what I think. I don't think they agreed to do it. I reckon Alonso was kind of pissed off that he was doing it, um, but that you know, oh, I haven't even. Okay. Well, I, I haven't seen any of the post yeah. interviews or anything like that. I'm sure he, they're probably playing it out like. Oh, I haven't no, heard anything fun. on Team Radio. Oh, yeah. actually, yeah, I need to. I, I didn't hear anything on Team Radio. Mm, neither did I. All I heard I, was that interview with Otmar. I feel like if Alonso was annoyed. We would have definitely heard about it. Definitely, uh, yeah, you're on right. the yeah, on yeah. the team radio, hundred percent. He's pretty vocal too, eh? Like yeah, he would yeah. say, yeah. But I, I really good? think yeah. Alonso and Ocon have like real good mutual respect for each other. I think out of all the all the uh, F one couples that you'd put together, that you'd say would be a good couple, right? You, you know, yeah. you got Ricardo with Lando. Everyone was like, oh, they're going to be amazing. Um, I think Ocon and Alonso would have been my dead last couple pick in terms of have a good constructive relationship i could never see it but lo and behold they seem like they get along really well and and you know they didn't crash into each other they did a great job so i don't know who knows maybe they maybe they did better than we thought yeah i saw that in what was the last race where alonso helped ocon win that race last year what oh hungry hungry that's when i saw that's when i saw um the partnership and how i reckon they get along yeah like yeah, you know, fight he like helped. a lion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, th- you know, that's when I knew that Alonso was like happy to help him get that win. Like he could he could have been selfish and you know really went for the dub as well. But yeah, I agree. I reckon they're friends, and I reckon Alonso is pretty easygoing. And and it seems to me that his personality is more about trying to um teach the future drivers how you know, the, the, the tricks of the game as well. I've, I've noticed Alonso. that with him. Yeah. Alonso. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah you, don't, you don't see that. I see that only from like, you know, because they play around with each other and they talk, with, you know. But that's interesting that you say that because like I'm an old F1 fan, right? And you yeah. by definition would be like the newer F1 fan. And like whenever you talk to me about Alonso, I'm like, what? Like, is this, Alonso, is this, he was the most irate, selfish, like he was amazing. But let's like, remember Lo- Alonso was uh, a both admired and hated in his pinnacle, right? In his time when he was at the top. And Alonso, like, he's an interesting character, man. He's had some interesting I've never interactions. Seen that. I've never seen that from him. Go, you'll spend a good hour through YouTube just, just sifting through 10 second clips of Alonso. But he's, you know, a lot of people didn't like Alonso. I've always liked him, right? I always yeah. thought he was a great character for a sport, you know, tenacious, like classic, classic Spaniard, right? Like takes no BS from anyone. Um, but he has changed a lot. Yeah, like, right. I was just going to say, he's, he's not a very like, different person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's not, not the same since his comeback. He's not like that. Yeah. And that's how I know him is when he's come back. Exactly. I didn't know him before that. Exactly. And it's and this rem- this reminds me of Vettel. Remember how upset you were at me when I yeah, said yeah, that, yeah. I don't it's like Vettel. Don't know. But again, yeah, Vettel you was the same. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah, I like same. him. So he's great. Nah. But um, you know, great battle all uh, all round. Great battle. Yeah. And I think it was awesome to watch. That's it. That's it for me, bro. Yeah.